Hi guys, welcome to another precalculus video tutorial. I'm Jasmine. Hi everyone, and I am Rainy Gold and Facultad. And I'm Virgin. Before we start, we have some picture to show and identify what is common in each picture. <laughs> picture has a pattern that is either decreasing or increasing by a constant number. It's called the arithmetic sequence and that is our topic for today's videos. If the first, second, and third term of the arithmetic sequence are 6, 12, and 18, what is the tenth term of the sequence? Above is an arithmetic problem on finding the nth term of a sequence. The formula on getting the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference. Let's try this example. First, we have to start by finding the common difference in terms by subtracting the first term from the second term. Hence, d is equal to 12 minus 6. Then subtract. d is equal to 6. For the missing terms, we use the a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substituting a sub 10 equals to 6 plus parenthesis 10 minus 1 times 6. Solve first the parenthesis 10 minus 1 equals to 9, then multiply it to the d, 6, 9 times 6 equals to 54. Now our equation is a sub 10 equals to 6 plus 54. Just add, then a sub 10 is equals to 60. Let's have another example. Let us solve for the common difference first by substituting d is equals to 7 minus 10 equals to negative 3. For the missing terms, let us use a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus parenthesis n minus 1 times d. Where a sub n is a sub 18, a sub 1 is equals to 10, n is 18, d is equals to negative 3. Hence, our formula now is a sub 18 equals to 10 plus parenthesis 18 minus 1 times negative 3. Solve for the parenthesis first, 18 minus 1 equals to 17, then multiply to d, negative 3. 17 times negative 3 is equals to negative 51. Now, our equation looks like a sub 18 equals to 10 plus negative 51. The answer is a sub 18 equals to negative 41. Okay guys, so now we proceed to our next topic which is also part of arithmetic sequence like finding arithmetic mean. What is arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean are the term between two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. In arithmetic sequence, 1, 2, 3, the middle value of 2 is called arithmetic mean between the other two. Now, let us try solving some arithmetic mean problems. What are the three arithmetic mean between 2 and 14? First, we have to get d or the common difference by subtracting the second term or simply use the common difference or d equals a sub n minus a sub k over n minus 1. So now, we'll go back to our problem. Insert 3 arithmetic mean between 2 and 14. And overall, we have 5 terms. And now, we will use common difference or d equals a sub n minus a sub k over n minus 1 will be our formula. And our a sub k is 2, and the a sub n is 14, and the number of term is 5. d equals 14 minus 2 over 5 minus 1. 
14 minus 2 is equals to 12. And 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. Then we have to divide it. 12, min 12 divided by 4 is 3. So now our common difference is 3. Since we are able to get the common difference, let us constantly add the d to each term. Now, we will use a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus the common difference to solve the second term. a sub 2 equals a sub 1 which is 2 plus the 3, the common difference. a sub 2 equals 2 plus 3 is 5. So our second term is 5. Then we proceed to third term by using a sub 3 plus a sub 2 plus 3. Our a sub 2 is 5 plus the common difference which is 3. a sub 3 equals 5 plus 3 is 8. Then our third term is 8. And last our fourth term by using a sub 4 equals a sub 3 plus 2. Our a sub 3 is 8 plus the common difference which is 3. a sub 4 equals 8 plus 3 equals 11. So now, we can get the 3 arithmetic mean of 2 and 14, which is 5, 8, and 11. Now, let us proceed an arithmetic series. An arithmetic series is the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence with a definite number of terms. We have two formula on getting the sum of an arithmetic sequence. The first one is s sub n is equal to n divided by 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. This formula requires the value of the first term, last term, and the number of terms. The second formula is s sub n is equal to n divided by 2 times quantity 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. This formula requires the first term, the common difference, and the number of terms. Now, let us have some example on solving the sum of an arithmetic series. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic series if a sub 1 is equal to 2 and a sub 20 is equal to 40. Since we have the first term, last term, and the number of terms, let us use the formula s sub n is equal to n divided by 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Let us substitute the given into the equation. So S sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 times quantity 2 plus 40. Perform the indicated operation so that we get S sub 20 is equal to 10 times quantity 42. Multiply it. Then we get the sum of the arithmetic series which is S sub 20 is equal to 420. Another problem is in arithmetic sequence negative 3, 4, 11, 18, and so on, find the sum of the first 20 terms. Since there is no last term, and we have the first term, the number of terms, and we can get the common difference, let us use the formula s sub n is equal to n divided by 2 times quantity 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. First, we have to get the common difference by subtracting the second term by first term. So, d is equal to 4 minus negative 3, then we get d is equal to 7. Now, let us substitute the given into the equation. s sub 20 is equal to 20 divided by 2 times quantity 2 times negative 3 plus 20 minus 1 times 7. Perform the indicated operation, then we get S sub 20 is equal to 10 times 127. Multiply 127 by 10, then we get the sum of the arithmetic series, which is S sub 20 is equal to 1270. And that's all for arithmetic sequence and solving it. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, and for that, don't forget to like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And for more helpful pre-calculus tutorials, bye! Bye!